Hello everybody, Interact here for the daily challenge for November 23rd, 2017. Happy Thanksgiving if you are in the US of A, and happy Thursday if you're not. It's Operation Fallen Tome, very Thanksgiving themed. Uh, we have a squad of Reapers against psionic enemies, just like the original Thanksgiving, right? Holy mother of god. Uh, okay, so we have eight Reapers, now we're up against psionics. Recover an item. Let's hop right into it. So as everyone knows, the first Thanksgiving was in fact the story of the Reapers trying to steal uh, maize and turkey from psionic enemies. <laughs> I'm gonna stop with that dumb joke now. Anyways, um, we are in the sewers. I hate these maps. Okay, self-detonating charges, yeah. Okay, so scores were in... I think mid to low 30s, and we're at 40s. Obviously, once again, as I say with all of these, I do these super early in the morning, so I would be... And it's Thanksgiving, so I would be doubtful if, like, more than 50 people have done this at this point. 11,600 enemy kill points, that's a whole lot of enemies. So the easiest way to judge how many enemies there are, typically, um, is by how many units you get. They keep it proportional most of the time. We're gonna probably head up this, uh, this right hand side. Is he like a Spanish Reaper? I don't think I've ever heard of that. So, psionic enemies is sectoids, possibly gatekeepers. Um, hopefully not gatekeepers. Sectoids, gatekeepers, priests. I don't know about much else that is considered a psionic enemy in this game. Uh, given this amount of units, I mean, they don't look very highly leveled. Most of them are like, we do have a single major, which is kind of interesting. What does our major have? Claymore, extra Claymore. Kill with Claymore puts it a shadow. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, it, with these under-leveled enemies, I'd be kind of surprised if they threw us up against a gatekeeper. Um, but then again, these XCOM challenges have surprised me before with things like that, so... We're just gonna kind of move forward. I think, actually, if possible, for this mission, I may just rush the objective um uh, if if since i believe reapers all independently have their own concealment through shadow um yeah i may just try and rush down the objective okay is that like four pre are they having a ritual with this box or something Stiletto. Gary, is there something you want to talk about, buddy? Put him on Overwatch. I go where I am needed. Is that Steve Blum? I am on watch. That, that very well could be Steve Blum. I am at your service. I, I mean, I'd have to check the credits for this game, but I know a Steve Blum when I hear it. I collect rare Steve Blums. Watch my back. Some people collect rare Pepe's. I collect rare Steve Blums. Steve Blum, um, famous for doing Spike in Cowboy Bebop, also for having, I believe, I, and I'm not, I'm not making this up, I believe he actually has the most credits for voice talent in video games ever. Uh, I think he's done uh, Optimus Prime, I think I'm trying to think of some other famous ones. He does a lot of background characters, he's got a, a decent range, Oh, they're patrolling back, that might spot someone, but I don't believe so. Uh, codexes are considered psionic. Yeah, I guess they can teleport and clone. Okay, so we saw a codex, which is gonna be problematic. Not as problematic as if we get revealed. Eh, okay, it's a little awkward. Um, are you joking me with that? Where's our major? Where's our major? Where's our major? Okay, 
Alright, so the Major's Claymore does blow up larger. Does it do more damage, though? Yeah, it does 8 damage. So I think we're going to have the Major pop on these guys back here. Um... It doesn't seem like these guys are moving, so we're gonna move the major up. Yeah, I see. The objective is there, and I, I think pretty much all of the dailies you have to neutralize all the enemy targets. So we're gonna start off with um, <clears throat> just a pretty basic. Oh my goodness, your name is Gary Stevens, and you sound like that, huh? That's procedurally generated names and locations for you. We're gonna open up here. Uh, this doesn't reveal the Reapers, however, these guys fleeing with Reapers right next to them may very well reveal- yeah. It may very well reveal a lot of our Reapers, which is going to end quite poorly for us. Um, only an 84. I don't really like that. I mean, I'm gonna take the 84. 50% chance to reveal, let's hope he doesn't. Okay, um, I still have no idea how these guys' sustaining spheres work. I, I'm very confused by that. Um, cause sometimes it maybe if you overkill them it doesn't trigger. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Um, I'm gonna probably have you throw a claymore here. Um... I just don't know if you'll have line of sight the trap is set. from there. Keeping line of sight on the Claymore is an important thing to do. Uh, I know that a certain YouTuber uh, goes by the name of Egg Boy. That's not actually his name, but you know, probably know who I'm talking about. Um, has been seen in multiple episodes of him playing this game, throwing Claymores and then not having line of sight on them. Which leads to obvious problems. Um, you could actually probably blow both of these guys sky high, huh? Blazing explosive. So, I'm guessing that this is probably just abuse Claymore's the mission. Although, that seems what- that and scouting forward without being seen is kind of what Reapers are all about, so... You know, what are you gonna do, right? Outside of abuse Claymore's and Shadow. I think Reapers are my favorite unit in the game. Um, I think the Skirmisher's ability to shoot twice is also pretty good. But I don't know that I would rank it in the same place as I would put Reapers. So we're going to try and kill his cover here with this Claymore. Uh, we are taking a little bit of time. Not like turn-wise, but actual time-wise. So we're going to probably lose some points there. Um... And I obviously don't want to waste all of my claymores. We're going to wait to pop those guys with the major. So you are actually already... You don't have a shot? I go where you tell me. Okay, now you have... A, they've spotted you from that? Oh no, this is a disaster. Yeah, this is, this is a disaster right here. Um, this is where things go off the rails. I would like control of my character back, please. Please do not sustaining sphere. He's sustaining sphere. So that he had two health and he took five, but he still get. Maybe it's a chance. Maybe it's a proc chance. I don't. I don't really know. So their shots do four to five, but they have a crit chance. However, the reveal is my issue here. Um. How many units do we still have in shadow? It's like just you, huh? So I think I'm going to get you to actually run into the objective. I don't think I can hack it this turn, but it also gets me a little bit more vision on what's going on in here. So there's more priests. I, I, okay, he's stasising. As long as they don't start mind controlling out of control, that is my major, however. So her being in stasis kind of removes my 8 damage double claymores, which I really hate. Also, she can go into stealth with uh, claymore kills. So there's two sectoids over here. I think there's a codex and another priest, and that might be it for the units in this one. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. They're just stasis locking everything that I have. This is why I hate priests. 
Um, the stasis lock and the mind control spam is absurd. Based at that, ooh, that's actually three priests in a codex and another codex down here. Crap. Okay, so this has definitely gone completely off the rails, as with most of my dailies. I, if I had a major to throw a claymore in here, I would be the happiest boy alive. My goodness, look at the damage I could do. So none of them are checking the objective, thankfully. But these guys are still in shadow. This is a mind. This is a mind control. Please miss. I think it missed. Okay, sweet. Yeah, find another slave, dude. You jerk. Um, take the 76. Okay, he's already sustaining sphered, so he doesn't get another one. My major stasis, which really puts me in a freaking pickle. I want to get the objective done. Because, you know, objective points. But I really, like... I don't want to just hang my unit out to dry. Um, if you get up here, you actually have a shot on every single unit in here. I wish some of these were higher level so I had things like Sting, but sadly not the case. Um, and your tectonic, te temnotic rifles. I want to make sure I use the right word. Not the greatest. So this is a 50% chance to reveal. She doesn't have a, uh, I would love a crit. No? Okay. Please don't reveal at least. You could stay in stealth, that'd be... Oh, wow, that's a god-awful roll. Um... Hmm... I, I think we're running into some issues here. Okay, well, that's an 80% chance to reveal, so I'm thinking I'll just Claymore. As much as I hate Claymoring a single unit, you know, I think it's kind of required at this point, because it doesn't reveal him. I need some of my guys to stay concealed, just in case. I have little ammo remaining. You only have a 50% chance here, and I don't want you to shoot the Codex like that. So I would love it if you could stay in stealth, please. He's sustaining spheres, that sucks. Don't roll badly. You rolled so badly. Um... I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably how this guy dies, but... Maybe he stays concealed? Disorient all enemies for two turns. If... By some miracle of God, Joe Washington, the most American man ever made in this game, could land a 4%. He's not going to do it, but disorienting all of them for two turns would be actually super solid. Um, I wish that he could have done it, but sadly, you know, he cannot. Gee, please remain concealed. Please remain concealed. Okay, so we got a large chunk of the points that we would have lost if we had taken a while. He's been revealed, boys. It is not great for poor Joe Washington. Um, I guess just like get behind cover and kind of away from them. I think if he gets knocked out, we lose the objective that he's carrying. All right, so our major's no longer stasis. Which is good because now we can use the 8 damage claymores and we can put her back in if we get a kill. Question is, what can we get kills on besides sectoids? Holy warrior on a codex. Well that's good because he's at 1 HP and I know his sustaining sphere is down. So he basically just made it, this codex an easy kill without having clones trigger. The problem is she's going to hit real freaking hard. Uh, that's my major, please don't kill her. Oh boy. Yeah, th okay, another Holy Warrior on the Codex, please. I don't believe priests can Holy Warrior other priests because that would lead to weird interactions with, like, if you Holy Warrior him, and then he Holy Warriors him, and he Holy Warriors another one. What happens? Okay, Psionic Bomb. Yeah, I'm a little stacked up for those. 
So these guys, they all had to reload anyways, so whatever. Uh, don't shoot my major, please. Okay, you're just gonna put another person in stasis. So this, this guy's been locked down two turns in a row now. Uh, as long as you do not shoot my major, I think we might be in a... I'm not gonna say a great spot, I'm gonna say a decent spot. Because if she throws a claymore right here, it should knock the sectoid down, get a kill, put her back in concealment, and possibly damage these two. I think. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, you're falling back a little bit. And you're falling back again. Good, I like that the Holy Word Codex did nothing. Okay, you're doing some weird movement. Okay, where's my major? This this is how things need to begin. All right, Claymore. Right here. Right here is the money. Please have target on that. Okay, good. This might be a triple kill and putting her back into concealment. Uh, actually, because some of them were holy warring others, it is more than just a triple kill. Yeah, that's a quad kill with a single claymore. I'm gonna put that one in the montage. That's going in the montage for sure. I would yell mom get the camera, but I think I would get yelled at if I yelled right now. Um, so she's concealed now. These guys need to reload. Oh, you actually have the ability to shadow. So I'm thinking shadow yourself. Get the heck out of here. And obviously you're gonna... Oh, Shadow's free. Correct. You are correct. You are still concealed by some act of God. Uh, 64. I would... Please, please, you'll double kill. Oh, he's done it. Blessed be this Reaper right here who's Corey Jenkins. <laughs> Why do I have the most, like, white-sounding Reapers ever? I thought they were supposed to be from, like... I thought the Reaper faction was based in, like, Russia or something. Am I incorrect in that assumption? I think it changes every time you play the game, but I thought, like, they were... Uh, maybe, for me, they were based in, like, South Africa, I think. In my main campaign, at least. So you don't have any shots right now, which is kind of weird. Um, can I get you up in, like, a... A decent sniping position? Yeah, I kind of want you to get closer to over here, because this is where, like, the concentration of our forces is. 81, it's good. You're not concealed, so just do what damage you can when you can. Um, okay, you can also go concealed again. Were you? How did, how did that affect your childhood, being born in the shadows? Did you find it traumatic or liberating? I believe that is our turn. So now Cyanoc Bomb goes off. I don't have anyone there because I've learned my lesson about that thing before. Um, okay. No longer in stasis. Cool. I mean, it's good that they keep putting squaddies in stasis. I believe I've already used all their claymores, so it's kind of whatever to me. Is he going to get stasis again? No, shot at. Ugh, that's not great. Taking a little bit of damage here. He's going to probably get hit. Oh, he missed. Okay, that's good. So, uh, by my count, we have four units left, or is it just these three? It could very well just be these three. <laughs> this poor guy. He's just been stasis Ever since this mission went went uh, into combat, he's just been a little stasis boy. 3% of other players have completed the mission this turn. Congratulations for them, dude. Uh, let's have you conceal... Just because I think uh, having concealment is a good thing to do. So your claymore is a little baby claymore. So there's there's no way that it will do enough damage or have enough radius to kill all of them. You should have a shot on that. All right, cool. So that's a guaranteed. The, if you're wondering why I'm using his stasis, um, if you're wondering why I'm using claymores instead of just shooting, claymores are guaranteed five damage. There's actually no way that they can, like, mess up. So, guaranteeing 5 damage is a lot better than um, taking a percentage chance. And these 
Temnotic rifles. Temnotic, I said it right. Only do um, between 4 and 5, and it's percentage based, so. Sadly, you cannot throw a clay, you cannot move, throw a claymore, and shoot it, though. I really wish you could. <clears throat> and also, claymores don't reveal out of concealment, in case you didn't know that. I know a lot about Reapers. Draganova carried me through a lot of my campaign. Alright, that guy did not have a stasis, so he's dead. Um, are you the major? You are. Can you... I mean, even if you could... That guy's a little, uh, little in a stasis pod right now, so... Are you gonna be able to hit that, is the question. You do have a shot on it. Uh, this will cause friendly fire? Oh, it'll hit the objective that I actually already have the package from, so I don't think that'll matter. Please don't matter. Please don't ruin the mission because I'm stupid. No, it didn't. Okay, uh... I mean, like, just get moves way back here, dude. I can get there. Like, I just need to have people spread out so I can shoot this priest when he comes out. Anyways, this should be winding down, hopefully. Poor Ross Wilson, man. Like, Jeff Kelly, Ross Wilson. Or some of the other- Did that guy actually just set himself on fire? Please don't kill him. Yeah, you don't want to die after being stasis three times. You know what, Ross? I'm gonna give you the kill, my friend. Take your re okay. The wind must have picked up. The wind must have picked up. My dog, we're in the freaking sewers. Okay, there's no wind that picked up down here. Stop making excuses. All right, uninjured soldiers. A fair amount of them, actually. Um, surviving soldiers should be full bonus, full marks, because I didn't have anyone die. Time remaining, it took me nine minutes. That's probably a little lengthy for this kind of mission. Um, that's maybe front page worthy? Not that I really care too much, I just care that I completed it without, you know, having anyone die. We'll, we'll double check though. I mean, out of, you know, 40, these, the maximum points available is impossible unless you're hacking. Because that would mean you'd have to kill every single unit, do the objective, and do everything on the first turn. And I've never seen even a map setup possible for that. So, uh, they were a little higher on these, uh, these top spots than I thought. Okay, so I'm 8th. It's pretty good for now, at least. Uh, it looks like it took most people about... But this guy was freaking thorough with his gameplay, apparently. My goodness. Apparently some people were very thorough. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, let's see how many players have completed. 40. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's, it's early in the morning on Thanksgiving Day. You're not going to see a lot of people doing this, so... Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, feel free to leave a like. Leave a comment if you do these yourself, um, possibly later in the day. Since, you know, I do these super early. If you do them later in the day, feel free to leave a comment with what score you got, um, what you did differently, maybe you stealthed all the way up to the package first, got everyone in kind of a, a good position and didn't have your major get revealed and uh, lose out on some Claymore opportunities there. Um, if you like this kind of thing as well, feel free to subscribe. I put these out pretty much every day. Um, and I have a series that I'm running where I... Play through the main. I'm playing through the main campaign for the first time. Spoilers: I have actually finished it. Uh, the backlog is a little lengthy, and I'm planning on doing another um, another playthrough, probably on a higher difficulty with maybe some different settings and things. Um, so if you want to see any, if you have any suggestions for names of characters, feel free to leave those. I'll try and get those incorporated in as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you uh, tomorrow for the next daily challenge. Thank you for watching once again. I do appreciate it very, very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.